Okay. So are we live? Let's take a quick peek here. Of course, as always, it's uh, back over here. Pop out this. So we are live. And welcome back to this uh, afternoon session of Midnight Madness. This is the third attempt to try to create uh, a video that has to do this, going to demonstrate how to create uh, how to create uh, How to use the base R plotting functions to create simple plots, okay? So let's just get started. Let's open up our, uh, open up this over here. Don't see that? Okay. Nothing really fancy going on here. Uh, the, the, all the functions you see here should run on any R, on any R system, okay? Uh, interesting, this thing here, this code fold, uh, uh, folds the code up so it, so it has, has, a, uh, has a click down there to display the code in the HTML file. So we start out by setting the seed. Then we create a normal distribution. Yes, a normal distribution. Uh, that's, that's sometimes called a bell curve. Okay. Then we come down here. We, we create a, uh, a quick summary. Then we, do a, then we begin our plots. A scatter plot. Okay. Pretty straightforward, right? X and Y. A histogram. We're plotting X. We could, of course, plot plot Y also. And uh, the breaks should be the should be the, the number of or the number of uh, or the width of each bar. So each bar should cont contain ten units. Okay, a box plot, of course, right? You know, you know it's used as of, of Y lab and X lab to set the to set the column names up here, and the main to set the uh, the plot name. Okay. A table function, which you'll see here briefly, is, is, is used for things like bar plots and pie plots, okay? Density is an interesting thing. A, a density plot looks similar to, uh, to, a, uh, to a, uh, uh, a histogram, although it's a little, is a little different, makes sense, okay? Now I'm going to go do some pair plots, okay? we got the tilde x and, uh, and the plus y. So I, I believe this means, you know, x to y plus y maybe so an image file first we'll see the matrix then we're going to see the uh the contour plot the, the contour plot is exactly what it says it's kind of like a topographical map of your data 3d perspective plot then a qq plot now don't ask me to explain what what these plots mean because i really don't know so let's just run this first one here let's get our data And here's, our, here's, our, here's the summary of our X and Y data. So let's just go ahead and run this. This, this video is going to be fairly fairly short. And unless you get a very quick understanding of the plots. I will also include a link in the description to the, to the GitHub repository where all the sample code is listed, all right? And you notice, I, you notice I am actually using VS Code here. Well, the key is I'm using what's called, uh, a package called Quattro, which allows you to run different data types. It allows you to use the same IDE to run different types of code. I've used it for, for Python and R here. I could also use, you could also use it for say, for, for say Julia. It allows you by simply changing, by simply, uh, depending on what it is, you know, you notice up here, but what tells what tells it that's an R an R program is R. Now if it was Python, it'd be a little different. You'd have to get the word Jupyter colon Python three. Then then up here you'd say Python rather than R. Okay. Now of course you you, you know, again the question is why why would you want to use the ggplot two? Well you know it never hurts to know. And never you know I remember our model here at Kipper Edge Channel is what. You can never have enough tools, okay? And, it's, and then it's quicker to create basic plots using 
base our function as you saw because it's a single line of code. Uh, so maybe, you know, but again, you know, the, you know, in, in some alternate universe, you may go to an R shop and they say, we, we only use base R here. <laughs> we don't use ggplot2 in this universe. You only use base R. So that's, that could be a reason. But uh, again, I'll emphasize this, how simple this is. What other point is, if, if, you are, if you are using Python and use a Seaborn package, well, the syntax for the plots is very similar. The only difference is, is that... Uh, is that in, 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 in uh, Seaborn, you define the data frame separately. So you have the X and Y, you have data equals data frame, okay? And you also notice that by default, th this is creating uh, PNG plots, okay? And so you can see it does create a... Uh, a uh, it, do it does create a... Uh, It do, let me, I'm trying to say it. it does create, as you see, it does create uh, a preview window, okay? And you notice here, we're not, we're not defining the data frame, okay? Because what we got here, what we got here is list or, or matrices, okay? If it was a data frame, as you'll see in a later, in a later video, you, you would you have the data frame, dollar sign, column name. But again, th these, these are two... These are two lists or two mate and not, not really a matrix, are they? They're 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 list. Okay, so you might call them, okay? So now let's come over here. Take a look at this. Documents. GitHub. And here's our first, uh, our first plot. Okay, you know how I mentioned above, I mentioned the, uh, the code folder thing? Well, this is what that does, okay? It hides the code that gives you the output. So there's a code. And the same thing in this. So we got here as a basic, as a basic, uh, Scatter plot. And there's the code. Okay, so that's 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 what the code hide does. So you got now you got a, a histogram. You've got a box plot. And again, in case you're not familiar with this, uh, this line here is the 25 percentile. This is 75, and this line here is the. Uh, huh. That line here is the median value. And what's interesting here is uh, these are these are the bounds. It, we appear to have one number here that is an outlier. Kind of interesting because it, because it's outside the t here. Okay, table function. So this is this is what the table function gave us. Okay, all right. Code here again. We use the table function with a round. Okay, then we get a nice little box plot here. Okay. Pi plot. Of course, as we all know, pi plots are taboo in the data science world. Uh, people hate. Some people are, are passionate with their hatred of, of pi plots. They say, "Look, a bar plot is much more visually. Uh, it's, it's easier to understand visually. The difference, small difference, as it is in a pi plot." Okay, and I'll leave that, that comment right there for your pleasure. Okay, density plot. Now, now, now th this is what the density value actually returns. Okay. The x and y values, and here's the plot of this. And to, and to a certain extent, it serves a similar purpose to uh, to a histogram, but it is a little because sometimes you actually see this line plotted over top of the histogram. Okay. Pair plots. Okay, nice little pair plots there. Image plot is sort of interesting. Uh, basically, a histi basically a, uh, an image plot. Is what's called a heat map in other programming languages, okay? 
Oh, I didn't, I didn't print the matrix out, did I? Okay. And there it is. And this is what's called a contour plot. And if you look very carefully here, you can see there are some numbers right there, okay? So these would be the values of what? So what's Volcano? Well, Volcano is a build-in build data, build data set into base R, okay? And the LW, he says, uh, use the, this is the width, the line width. This says use 4. I don't know if that's pixels or what, but that's what it is. You can see this is a little thicker. Now, of course, we need to come back over here. <laughs> maybe in, in video 2, I'll come back over here and I'll, maybe I'll tweak a couple of these things, like, like making the, the, the labels larger there or something like that, okay? In a 3D perspective, finally, all right? And finally, a, a QQ plot. Notice the nice trend line right here. Uh -uh. And that, my dear friends, is where we're leaving off today, okay? Thanks so much for your time. Of course, as always, click the like button, the subscribe button, share the channel with your friends, share the video with your friends, and stay tuned for volume for, for video for volume two and three of basic plot, our plotting in, in R, okay?